We all know how bad night's sleep can affect you the next morning. You're grumpy, you're slow, it's hard to get off the couch. Well, a new study shows that we're not alone. Research from the University of Auckland has found birds sing simpler songs and less often, less frequently, after a night of disturbed sleep. Dr Julie Gavidagi Musoy is with us, lead researcher at the University of Auckland. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you on the program. Um, why did you decide to do this research on birds? Hmm. Birds are a funny thing. So they are very similar to humans in many ways. Uh, people don't expect that. Uh, but birds, uh, just like humans, uh, they uh, learn their vocalizations very similar to us. They have this like babbling stage when they are young, uh, and then they learn their vocalization and they are able to uh, sing when they are adults. So, uh, but also they have very sleep. Oh, the, their sleep is very similar to ours as well. They have the different types of sleep, like REM sleep and non-REM sleep. So it made sense that if sleep is important for us and how we communicate the day after, um, that it would be important for them as well. How do you know what they're saying though? I mean, you say it's the, they're communicating, it's more simple, the, the language that they're using. How do you know? Yeah, so we record their vocalizations and we record both their songs and their calls and then we measure them. Uh, we have this software that we're able, able to use and measure exactly those uh, minute details that might be happening uh, around them. So we were able to measure this on uh, common minus and what we did was uh, yeah, recording their songs, measuring them, and then comparing before and after a bad night of sleep. And then we found that they were simpler and also fewer songs after a bad night of sleep. What do you know what they're, what they're singing about? Uh, unfortunately not. Uh, no, we're not there yet. But we do know that their songs are very important for multiple things. So they use their songs to find mates or protect a territory. Uh, they also can communicate about food and uh, danger around. But we're still not too sure exactly what they're saying in each song. What's keeping them awake at, the, at night, Julie? Surely they're not out on the piss. <laughs> well, we don't know that, maybe. But what we do know is that uh, light pollution and noise pollution, so fireworks, uh, but also noisy cars or uh, lots of light outside, that's also um, all kind of keep them awake. And there are studies previously that show that not only they are sleeping less, but they're, even their sleep is lighter after the light pollution and noise pollution. This has obviously cost money to do this research, Julie, and there's a lot of talk at the moment about science funding going, being thrown and down an empty, um, you know, there's an empty pit of money that we just keep adding to. What can we do with this information? Mm. So this is very important so we understand a little bit more how we are affecting our birds. Birds are super important for nature because they are great pollinators, but they also uh, are able to kind of... Um, protect the things around and they are part of this environment that we all live in. So being able to protect them and understand how we are affecting them is super important uh, for then later on applying uh, for, yeah, if we, if we know that light and noise are affecting their song and then their sleep and later on um, if they are uh, not being able to uh, breed as well or find mates and survive, then we're able to do something about it. Appreciate your time this morning. Thanks so much for being on the program. We'll be listening Thank out you. for the next time we hear the birds singing in the morning just how upbeat they are.